Hey guys, welcome back. Bodie 101 here. We are back in our world of Daybreaker. Picking up shortly after we left off. I did a little bit of stuff in between. Got some more iron. So we got this kind of cooking. I'm cooking up some gold. I moved all of our ingots down here. So, All right, so now that we got that process going, I kind of want to start working on something else. Now, any of you guys who watch my Pathfinder series, you guys are probably going to be familiar with with the clockwork phase stop. So I think we're gonna get a little bit into this. So first and foremost, we need to grab ourselves some gold. We gotta grab ourselves some iron. Let's go up here away from that noise. And let's see, uh, is this just, okay, it does give us three, okay. All right, let's let's uh, let's do this real quick. Let's, um, hmm. I don't know what sound that is this nope okay I don't remember what sound those things fall under um, blocks okay they're blocks okay but I don't want it to be completely down sorry guys let's turn the music down a bit let's turn these this this up to like 20 all right that's better okay so we want to make a bunch of these brass ingots so let's uh Let's make a few sets because we're going to need quite a bit of them. All right. And there gives us 15. Let's kind of start there. So what we basically want to make is we want to make one of these clockwork pickaxes, right? So we're going to need a framework, which is going to be basically the brass we just made and some iron. So let's make one of those real quick. Uh, it was what this and some iron. Gives us one of these, okay. Um, you know what we should probably make right off the bat <coughs> is a clockwork assembly table. So we need an iron gear. Nope, not that one. That's the one I didn't want to pick. All right, so sticks and iron. Okay, we can do that. It's not a big deal. Do I have sticks down here? Oh, my chests are all quiet. It's weird. Uh, yeah, we have a few sticks. All right, so basically, I believe well, it was like this, and then like this. Let's get this stick out of the way here. Oh, I had some sticks on me. Duh. All right, there's that, and then I think I needed this. I hope it was planks. Come around like so. Boom, there we go. All right, so let's uh, first put this bad boy down. Right, Ooh, a little freeze right there. Let's put it right here. Let's sleep. All right, so we got the assembly table, and then we're gonna want to make we're gonna want to make some gears. Now we did get a legendary gear, and so let's look in here. So to make like a brass gear, so it's pretty much the same thing, just with you know different stuff. So I'm thinking, let's try and make a variety of gears. So let's take, we got, let's get some, we have gold. Let's get a little bit of silver. Uh, not osmium, though. Do we have double silver? Oh, okay. A uh, little bit of tin. A little bit of zinc. Maybe we can make a zinc one. Definitely some copper. And some lead. And we'll make an iron one as well. All right, and then for any of you guys who haven't watched, um, I'll kind of... Kind of show you what shenanigans I'm up to. All right, so let's make uh, let's make a bunch of sticks. Oh, I missed. All right, there's that and there. All right, so we're gonna basically just split these like this. All right, so let's make ourselves one of these. Okay, we got ourselves a lead gear. Let's make ourselves an iron gear. Another one. We just made one of those a second ago. Let's make ourselves. Whoops, a gold gear. Oh, we can make gold gears. Okay, good Good to know, good to know. I know we can make copper. Let's make copper gear, perfect. Let's see, can we make a silver gear? We can, nice. What about zinc? Can we make a zinc gear? No, zinc is a no-no. And finally, a tin gear, I'm pretty sure we can make. Okay, so let's, uh, let's pull these sticks out. Let's head over here. Okay, so we're just basically to start filling this thing up with gears. And as you can see, so watch, let's look at this. All right. So we put this one in. We've got a quality of 70, a speed of 70, and a memory of 250. 
We had a silver gear that goes 95, 120, 250. Tin, 125, 160. I'm, I'm trying to see which one gives us the better memory. Maybe iron? Nope, iron, copper. No, the, the other numbers are going up. Lead? No. Um, at least no, they all come out. Let's try making a brass gear uh, with the the brass ingots that we have and see if that does it. I guess I could look. Do these tell me? Okay. So that gives a memory of that. Does anything add to the memory? A temporal gear. I don't have that. Thaumium gear. Don't have that. A rusty gear. How do I make a rusty gear? I can't. So... It looks like the only ones that add to it are these two um, magical ingot. What? What is this all about? That is part of Assess Essential Craft 3. I don't know what that means. Okay. And temporal. How do we get temporal? How do we get the nuggets? Um, temporal ore berries. Haven't found those yet. Okay. All right, so we're going to kind of have to live with what we got. Uh, let's make a brass one anyways. Whoops. Did I already make a brass one? No, I didn't. Okay. So, all right, so we're just going to basically pop all these gears in, in different places and kind of get us the best gear that we can. All right, there's that. Am I missing any? No. All right, so there's our gear. Okay, or our clockwork. All right. And then we also want to make ourselves a spring. Spring, 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 spring. It is a stick surrounded by iron. So that should be pretty easy. All right, so let's do this. Okay. So that's a tension of 2,000. Then if we add to it... Oh, no, no, we don't add to it in here. Then what we do is if we come in here and click the spring, if we put our spring here and then add iron around it and click this, now we have a tension of 1800. Let's see what we need to make a winding box real quick. Two iron, five brass. Do I have, oh, I think I'm gonna be good here, guys. Oh, oh wait, I still need another piece of brass, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're almost out of iron once again, but we got our winding box, which is cool. So we'll set that bad boy right there. And then let's finish making our pick itself. So we need two sticks and two of those. I only have one. So up and around and go and here and to this and to that. There we go. All right. So one there, one there, and this, and a couple of sticks. We got our clockwork pickaxe. Okay. So, since we have a little bit more iron left, let's pop in here. Let's put this in and let's, let's, let's add another little, a little go around. And I'll kind of explain what we're doing here once we get this all done. 3,400. Sweet. All right. So, now we go here. We take our pickaxe and our spring. And there we go. We got that in. We take our pickaxe and our gear. And there we go. So... Basically, what this is, is this is a, a clockwork pickaxe, and if we look at it, we have a tension of zero out of 3,400. Our, our quality is 300. I don't quite remember what quality is. And um, we have a clockwork speed of 280, so that's basically just our mining speed, and a memory of 250. And then if you notice down there, it says chance of extracting time sand. One in 44. So now we take this, we come over to our winding box, and we just click on it. As you can see, the bar at the bottom fills up. Okay. And now if we look at it, we got a tension of 3,400. Let's go. Let's go take this, uh, this bad boy. Stop it. Let's go take this bad boy for a little bit of a whirl down here. So, all right. So, oh, there's a big slime. Let's kill him. Come here, squishy. Yep. All right. I'm gonna cut you into in the smaller. This is like like getting jello and just cutting it like with a knife. Just getting the smaller and smaller pieces. Now the big ones can the medium ones can still hurt us, so we'll keep dancing. And this better get us some slime. That's all I gotta say. I think you guys knocked down my uh Alright, stop, stop, get away. 
Get away, get away, get away, get away. So the cool thing with this pickaxe is, is that it really doesn't break. Um, it just basically loses its winding after a while, right? So that'll be really cool for kind of collecting things. So, whoop, that's the wrong pick. So as you can see, oh, it actually goes pretty good. Um, I don't know what the mining level is. I don't know if I, it said that. Let me see. It really doesn't say... But, okay, so you saw that there. Did you see those little sparkle things there? Those are basically sands of time. And as you see, it says 25 seconds under our attention. The more of that stuff that we gather, the, um, basically this thing can have a special ability. All right, let, let me just double check that my math is right on this. So let's look again. And now you can see we got 50 seconds. So every time we get that, apparently it gives us like, you know, 25 seconds or so. All right, here's a real test. It does get diamonds. So, it is solid. Ooh, nice. I don't know why it's giving me the achievement. I've already gotten it. So, you can see. Now, the hammer is nice because you can do a big area. But this is pretty sweet because this is actually really quick. I'm going to be able to mine. So, there was some more. And let's see. Um, now, I think if we shift... Click. Is that it? No. I don't remember how to how to activate it. Because we're up to 75 seconds. How do I activate this? And as you can see, chance of extracting time sand 1 in 41. <coughs> so as it as time goes on, it is gonna get a better chance. But we're already pretty much halfway down in our durability. So that is the only downside, but ooh, hi lava. Okay, not gonna go that way anymore. But like I said, we don't have to we don't have to put in an anvil. We don't have to use any more resources. We literally just pop back up. We just click on that winding box, which we could probably, to be honest, ooh, what is that? I don't know what that is, but I want that. Okay, let's see. Uses. Oh, it, oh that's right. It makes some of this weird stuff. Weird. All right, I'm already kind of full on stuff. So so in that, in that, ooh, ooh, nope, okay, all right. So you can kind of see that, like, you know, we're, we're kind of, and our inventory had a bunch of junk in it to begin with, but you can kind of see that we were able to get, uh, you know, I mean, it's still going. We still got juice on it. Our inventory's just full. So we could probably fill our inventory most of the time just off of this. So now um, all we're going to do is we're going to hit the good old J. We're going to teleport back to the shack. We are going to dump some stuff off here. So now all we... I got it so weird. It's quiet. All right. So this is where we're going to basically keep our ingots. And then we can just come in here. We can pop some of this stuff in because we do need iron. That'll get us eight. Come up here. We'll drop off some stuff that we don't need. I'm still putting ores that need to be processed up here. Mm -hmm. Let me just kind of finish cleaning this up. Let's do that. Um... I want that. We'll put our slime balls in there. We'll put away part of our cobble that we don't need. We'll put our stone away. Um, and then I think we're just going to kind of random dump chest some of this other stuff. So Just to get it out of our, our inventory here. Uh, I'll put that in there and I'll keep this. Okay. So all we do is we click on this bad boy. And as you can see, after just a few seconds... We are fully repaired. So that is really, really going to help. Because I, I get a feeling we're going to need a lot of ores. And I, I looked, and the only quarry that's in here is an ender quarry. Which, don't get me wrong, ender quarries are amazing. The only downside to... Wow, that thing already shot through those four pieces. The only downside to the quarry is that it is pretty tricky to make. Now, we can make clockwork... Um, uh, stuff and it's really not that hard because these frameworks we just basically we just need to get a bunch of iron okay how do i i want to know how to how to activate this thing um control Is it alt i don't know how to do this and there's no book for it i don't think do you see you guys see a book in here 
basically, once we do something, and I'll, I'll, I'll research it, it'll basically turn into this pickaxe. And uh, it gives us kind of a boost to things. But it only lasts for the amount of time that we have. So, all right, let's hit J. Let's head back. Maybe we just need more time. Maybe that's all it is, is that we just don't, we honestly just don't have enough time saved up. So, all right, there's some more time. I hear a bat. I hear a bat dying. That was weird. It sounded like it was stuck in a wall somewhere. All right. But yeah, you can see it mines really quickly. Um, like I said, the hammer's nice. The hammer just ends up getting us way too much cobble I don't really need. We're just picking up stuff we don't need. Um, I still have it. I'll still use it. But now, something I'm curious about. Now, just so you guys know, um, I'm recording three of these episodes back to back. So... When I showed you guys that, that weird uh, gravity abnormality, technically for me in, in my time frame, you guys still haven't seen that. So, you know, I'm going to leave it and I'm going to have you guys let me know over the last couple episodes and this one as well. If that is something. Okay. That's, that's, I think that's going to be silverfish. Yep. All right. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, these are. I need to. I need to make a better sword. Is what I need to do. Oh, goody. Good. I pissed off the whole bunch. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, these things. What, what do I have? Just like an iron sword? What am, what am I? A sucker? I got diamonds for love. The love of. Them. Stop! Go away! Oh God! That the sad. You know what? It's it's the sound of them. That's what I think. That's what gets to people. It's just the straight up sound of them. All right, I think we're clear of them for now. Let's uh, let's close this all up. Okay, let's get back to kind of hunting for some some cool crazy stuff. Now I know we can make stuff. Can we make? Let's see. Uh, recipes. No, nope, not that. This recipes. Oh, we, okay, so we can't use the rubies to make much of anything, but I know, I think you can use, like, the sapphires and emeralds and stuff to make things. All right. What is this? I forget what this is. This stuff is used for, uh, oh, it's just part of blue power, making a whole bunch of stuff. Infused? Okay, I don't know what that does. Blue alloy ingot. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um... Let's see what the uses on this are. Oh, uh, we're still... Purple. Okay, so it just makes different colors, and I think it's just... I think it's just part of all this blue power stuff, which I know nothing about, so... Ooh, iron. Yes. So, yeah, anyways. Um, and then we can't... Ooh, got some more time. We can also make a disin... Or a, a disassembler. And basically what that will do is that will make it to where we can take this apart. We can add different, you know, uh, springs to it, all kinds of stuff. All right, I have a minute 39. How do I... I don't know how to use it. All right, we're getting plenty of this. I thought we could make tools and stuff out of the rubies. Hmm, weird. All right, let's look. How about the amethyst uh, uses? Yeah, see, we can make amethyst tools... Um, weapons and whatnot, use it for other stuff. And then I think the sapphires, I believe, are the same. Yeah, we can make sapphires. So they're not bad, you know. I mean, they're pretty. They're, you know, easy to get. Ooh, what does that make? Sapphire glass. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, reinforced sapphire. Witherproof. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. <laughs> so reinforced sapphire glass is witherproof, huh? Can I use that in anything else? No, I can't. So, all right. So like I said, you guys, I think this thing is pretty cool. What we should check, though, is if we teleport back here. All right, let's 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 wind it up first. So if we carry this with us. 
cool it didn't break apart. So we can, I might actually make a second one of these and just kind of carry it on, on, on us. So when we're down there, if we start running into an issue of, uh, of, of stuff, we, you know, or needing to level this thing up or repair it, whatever you want to call it, we've got it taken care of. So that's pretty sweet. Now, we can make, uh, where are the rest of them? I thought there was, yeah. We can make the axe, the shovel, and the sword. I can see this being helpful for, like, the axe and even the shovel and whatnot. Um, I, I don't know if I'm really too juiced about doing the sword, plus we make this. So, probably what will happen is, in between episodes, guys, I will use our newfound pickaxe uh, that is, in essence, will never go away. I mean, none of the pieces break down, nothing happens. Even if you disassemble this, everything I used in it, even if I've used it a thousand times, is just as usable, so... Um, but yeah, so we got ourselves a, a very quick pickaxe. Uh, I like it very much. And, you know, I'll look in between episodes and figure out how we use some of that, uh, the two minutes of juice we've got in it. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure that out. So, <clears throat> but I will do a ton of mining, get us a bunch of ores. Uh, it's going to be a lot quicker with this now. I'll pretty much just do super mining down there and whatnot so <clears throat> and we'll probably work on some more stuff maybe we'll make the armor next episode we'll see so all right guys well hey, i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up any questions comments concerns leave them down in the comments section and until and, and also let me know if you guys know anything about the that uh that graviteer grab whatever abnormal that the black hole down there can i pick it up can i do something with it can i make something out of it i don't know so all right guys well hey, Hope you enjoyed. If you did, we will see you guys next time. And I want to thank you for hanging out with me. And until then, bye.